you know me, I'm about to uh, cut out the talk and listen to some tunes. Enjoy this flight. We'll uh, catch back up on the ground. See you guys. Alright guys, so like I just mentioned in the video, I plan to listen to music for the rest of this flight. Um, but at this point in the flight, I'm realizing that I forgot to share my GPS location with my wife. Um, that's something I do whenever I fly alone, just share my GPS location. That way, if anything happens, she can come find me. So I realize I've forgotten to do that. Usually my cell phone is strapped right to my, the top of my reserve on a little Velcro cockpit area. But I don't have my reserve with me because I'm flying um, a different motor and I couldn't get the reserve attached to it. I have a front mount reserve. So I just flew without it this flight. Um, so I have to take my phone out of my pocket and actually dial the phone number. And it's not attached to a lanyard. So here I am dialing the phone. I'm actually getting my wife on the phone right now. I, can, I have Bluetooth in my helmet. So I hear her say hello. And right as she says hello, this happens. So there you go. I just dropped my phone again. I'm... I can see it falling right at this point, and I'm spiraling down. I see it hit. It didn't go in any water. I tried to take a mental note of where I saw it hit, but it landed in like a bunch of brush. So it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint it. Um, but I think that at this point, I think I have a decent enough idea of where it landed. And I'm making the decision of whether I want to land here or fly back to the truck. So ultimately, I decide that I think I can land here. Um, so right now, I'm just trying to scout out a good LZ. Um, to land and then hike around and try to find the phone. So I dropped my fucking phone again and uh, I called my wife while I was dropping the phone so I hope she's not freaking out. I saw where it landed but it looked so different from the air. I, it landed on the surface though but it's a fucking black phone, it's about to get dark and I'm not near my truck so kind of freaking out a little bit. Um, it landed near a puddle, though. Is it this puddle? I don't think it was this close to the trees. And I'm connected to the Bluetooth on my helmet. God damn it. Maybe it was further this way. Maybe it was further this way. I should have kept an eye out longer. And uh, pinpointed it. And I wish I had more sunlight. This looks kind of like where it landed. It didn't land in the water though. It landed near the water. Wish you, Lauren would call me back so I can tell her just to keep calling until I answer. Turn off the Bluetooth. And I don't know how to use my Cena to call somebody without using the phone. Which sucks. God damn it. Fucking two times I've done this. Hello? Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Find my phone. Call Sneaks. 
Okay, Google. Call Sneaks. Okay, Google. Play a sound so I can find you. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Where are you? <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh, it's not broken again! Oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, I gotta get some reception to call my wife back. She's probably freaking out. Oh, don't get hurt. I can't believe I found it. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, and I have time to get home. I can fly home. Yes. Oh. I'm okay. Just dropped my phone. Period. I found it and I am going to take off and fly back to my truck. Love you. Okay. Please get some fucking reception. Anything, send. I gotta get back in the fucking air, man. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit. Poor, my poor wife, probably freaking out. All right, so unbelievable. Unreal. I dropped, I dropped my phone again. This is the second time I've done that. Uh, I watched where it fell and then immediately forgot. Um, when I got down here, you guys saw it. I'm not gonna recap the whole thing, but I found it. But I was talking to my wife when I did that and she gets so uneasy when I fly. So she, I called her and she's, Probably freaking out. I feel terrible. So I gotta get back in the air ASAP and get some data connection so those text messages send. Let her know I'm okay. But unreal, dude. Unreal. Unreal. Okay. Get these sorted out. Get my ass back in the air. <laughs> unreal. That should do it. Chase can. Set up. Clear prop. I like that. One hand start, Moster 185. Downwind launch, I think. I had to sprint that one out. God, I hope I get reception really quick. My wife knows I'm okay. Well, that fucking sucked. At least I made it in the air. Before sunset, even. I don't... Yeah, I didn't bring my strobe. Did not bring my strobe. I could have walked to my truck, but... Look at... I mean, that would have been a two-mile walk or more. Oh my god. Very happy to be back in the air. On my way back to my truck. I want to take my cell phone out like an idiot. Just to see if I got my wife's messages went through. What a 
drop it fucking again. Oh, uh, yep. Those text messages went right through, or went through just in time. She just said she was literally on her way to the field. Oh, man. It's literally the worst thing that could happen. She knows I'm flying alone. I call her. She maybe hears some crackling or whatever, no reception, and I drop my phone and then lose Bluetooth reception. And then when she calls me, uh, I, I don't pick up. Literally the worst thing that could happen. And Lauren notoriously gets nervous when I fly. So, oh man, that's just the worst situation possible. I gotta get, get on the ground and call her, make sure she's okay. Oh my god, that takeoff sucked. Either that was still wind, I'm not used to it with this motor, or it was tailwind. No, it was a slight tailwind. I, I ran so damn hard. A truck! Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Very, very happy to be home. I'm not even gonna fuck around, I'm just gonna come to land. Lauren, sure as shit. She was freaked out. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, Instagram, you know. Peace. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Where are you? <gasps> yes! Ha <laughs> ha!